What's up YouTube? Jeff back from SamuelGuru.com here and today another exciting Samsung video for you guys. And yes, we've been covering a lot of One UI 8.5 and I have a full roundup of all the changes we found with One UI 8.5 coming soon if you're waiting for that. But One UI 8 is rolling out to everyone including the Galaxy S24 series, the Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, and a bunch of other phones. Samsung has really gotten ahead of things. And I did make our first Things to Who video which will be up here somewhere if you want to watch it. But today I want to talk about one feature in particular which a lot of people have been messaging me about and I've talked about from the very beginning of the beta, and that is the adaptive clock because it's probably the coolest feature in One UI 8. It's definitely the most user-facing kind of change that a lot of people are interested in trying, but it can also be the most frustrating feature because it doesn't work with every wallpaper and there's some restrictions on how it works that you need to know about if you wanna use this feature properly. So today's video, we're gonna take a look at that, go through and show you guys how this works, uh, where you can apply your wallpaper to get it to work, uh, just some things to be aware of as well with the adaptive clock. Before we get started, make sure you check out the website, samuyuru.com. Like I said, we've been covering all of the One UI 8.5 stuff, so if you guys want to stay up to date with what's going on with the next version of uh, Samsung's operating system, you definitely want to check us out. Set us as a preferred source on Google News and Google Discover, so you get all of our latest articles. If you're going to buy a Galaxy S26 device, you can also get in on our mystery box program if you're in the U.S., you get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies. Tap on that orange banner. Then on the S26 Ultra box right here, put in your phone number, email, or both. You'll get a link to order on launch day, which is our affiliate link. That's how we fund the program. We cover all the shipping. Uh, there's going to be a 65-watt charger in there as well for the first time ever. We're really excited about it. It's in the pinned comment description if you're interested in checking that out. So what is the adaptive clock in One UI 8? Well, it is basically... Samsung wanted to have a cool clock element, but they didn't want to exactly copy what Apple was doing with iOS. And so they basically came up with their own uh, variation of this, which I think is actually a lot cooler than what Apple did with iOS. And uh, it is this adaptive clock. And so if you go into the clock in One UI 8, it'll be the second option. You'll see it right here. It'll actually animate. You already saw one of the annoying things about it is if you do change the clock style and change it back, the adaptive clock actually moves so it won't stay in the position that you had it in before. But the way it basically works is if you have a wallpaper of a person or an animal, a pet, you can move this around and it will adapt to the features of that person or animal. You see how here it adapts to the ear of the dog. Now, there's a few things that you have to be aware of here. First of all, it doesn't work with anything that isn't an animal or a pet. And if you have it set and then change it to something else, it either may or may not stick. So some people want this effect, but they want to use it with a wallpaper of just a landscape or a gradient or a texture, something more simplistic. Um, and if you set it with a picture of like the dog, for instance, that I have here, and then you change it to some other wallpaper that technically doesn't support this effect, uh, it may or may not work depending on your luck. It's kind of random. Samsung is basically using this lock screen editor and your, you know, to do some computation to determine how to move this around. Um, I definitely think they could improve this a little bit because, like I said, it, there's some things like where it doesn't stick if you change it and change it back. It also only works with certain styles. So you've got these two styles, which technically both do work with the adaptive clock. You can see that one as well. Uh, and then this horizontal one that I was using there. So those are the, some things to be aware of. But the other thing to be aware of here, and I think I've noticed a lot of people saying they don't see this effect, and this is something that I called out as well in one of my earlier videos during the beta period, is you have to go through the wallpapers and go into your gallery here. You actually have to set your wallpaper from inside the gallery. If you try to set it from within a third-party application, so for instance, if I go back and go to one of my favorite wallpaper apps like one for wall if i pick one of these wallpapers from within here like let's say even if it is of a person or an animal here's a cat if i choose this one there's an option inside one for wall here to just set the wallpaper and if i set the lock screen wallpaper from inside one for wall this will not allow the adaptive clock effect to work so just to demonstrate this if I set this wallpaper, even though it is of a, the cat, if we go back, you'll see that the adaptive clock is no longer there. 
I had the dog there before. And now, even though it's set to the adaptive clock, you guys see, if I try to drag it, you know, even around here with the cat, this is not going to work. It, it no longer works here. So that's, that's a huge problem. What you actually need to do is if you're using a wallpaper application, you need to use the download option. And then once you download it, of course, sometimes you'll get unlucky and some particular animal or person wallpaper won't work even if you do this, but go through wallpapers, gallery, choose that wallpaper directly from the lock screen editor and then apply it. And now you can see here, the adaptive clock works beautifully with this nice contrast wallpaper of this uh, white cat on the black background, which is actually beautiful for the AMOLED display as well. And so, like I said, this is probably the most interesting in, in terms of user facing, like the average users, you know, find this interesting. Obviously there's a lot of other changes. And in my, my first things to do video, I went through lots of stuff that's not just the clock, but I want to talk about this because a lot of people who are casual users are like, I don't see this option, it's not working. Maybe you're using Zedge, maybe you're using another third party wallpaper app, and this problem could be occurring for you. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, check out more of our content. Again, check out the website, the mystery box program if you're interested. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.